Hello WCCUSD community. This is the time of year when we're making plans for important changes to our school system for next year. Today I want to bring to your attention two high priority areas that we're making changes in for the next year and we're seeking your voices as community members to make sure that the changes we make are responsive to what you need as students, family, and staff. One big change initiative will be transforming our websites. We know that our websites need to be easy for our community to use in order to access the information you need. In order to make sure that our new websites are responsive to our community and staff, we need to hear from you. There will be two ways to provide valuable feedback about our websites to our communication staff. First, there will be a survey live on our website beginning this Tuesday, April the 4th. The purpose of the survey will be to help us understand what information you need to find on our schools and district websites as a student, family, or staff member. This survey will be live until Friday, April the 14th. We also want to be in conversation with you directly. Please join our communication staff for website feedback sessions on either Tuesday, April the 11th from 8.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. or Thursday, April the 13th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Any member of the WCCUSD community is welcome to attend either session. Zoom links can be found on our website calendar. This spring, we will also refresh our WCCUSD technology plan to align with the skills and knowledge we want our students to acquire during their time with us in WCCUSD. We're proud to be a district that has provided a computer to every child since before the pandemic. Since that time, we've had many opportunities to use technology in new ways, learned about inequities in accessing technology that we've worked to address, and become more connected with our technology like never before. We need you to join this committee of diverse stakeholders in defining the WCCUSD technology priorities for the next three years. We're looking for site clerical and classified staff, parents and guardians, and students to join our diverse committee and provide your perspective and voice to this work. We will host two committee meetings on Monday, April the 10th and Monday, May 15th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. via Zoom. Visit our website to view more details about the technology plan, the six pillars of focus, and to complete the interest form. We will also expand our reach beyond the committee to gather input via equity interviews with students and families and via surveys so that we can capture the diverse experiences and needs of our community. Before I let you go, I just have to give a shout out to Dr. Huey, the director of our college and career division and a few of our incredible educators whose work I was able to see at school sites this week. On Wednesday evening, I had the opportunity to speak at the Career Technical Education Advisory Board meeting, where our many industry partners worked alongside career technical education teachers. It was great to see so many industries represented in our amazing teaching staff and in the amazing local industry leaders who are lending their time and expertise to support our students. Part of my vision for West Contra Costa Unified School District is to ensure that our students have experiences that support their career exploration through their K-12 education so that our youngest students are also able to envision their future success. Also on Wednesday, I had the pleasure of attending Lincoln Elementary's Family Literacy Night and Mira Vista's Family STEAM Night. Both events were joyful opportunities for families to be in community with one another while enjoying academic experiences with their children. I want to shout out Principal Taylor Parham and Principal Charlotte Batson for their instructional leadership and service to their school communities. I also enjoyed a performance by Schoolyard Rap at Grant Elementary organized by Principal Farnaz Hidari and had the privilege of enjoying a performance by the El Cerrito High School Jazz Ensemble at the El Cerrito Rotary Club. I would like to thank the El Cerrito Rotary Club for their generous donation of $25,000 of new musical instruments to the music program. Lastly, on Thursday night, we had a town hall at El Cerrito High School 
about race and school culture in order to directly address experiences serviced by our own student leaders. We want all of our students to know that we're here to have necessary and hard conversations in order to transform our schools into spaces that truly serve each and every one of you. We know our students and educators have been working hard and this break is incredibly well deserved. I hope that you're able to enjoy a valued time with friends and family over the spring break and I look forward to seeing you back at school sites when we return. Thank you.